Hey guys, welcome to Joy of the Trade. This is my weekly buy it or burn it edition. Today, I wanna to talk about Disney and Netflix. Take a guess who I'm buying and who I'm burning. Too late, buy Disney, burn Netflix. We're gonna take a look at a couple of compelling reasons. I'm gonna do a comparative analysis and we'll look underneath the hood at to why I came to that conclusion. Let me share my screen so we can look at that. All right, let's take a look at the spread first. Six month spread, Disney just came out with tremendous earnings. So stock's up a lot today, up $12. We've got the stock since June up 48% on Disney, only 16.7 on Netflix. But if you go a year, if you go one full year, the stock, long Disney, short Netflix, the spread, you're still lagging 53%. Netflix is up 66% from a year ago. Disney's only up 13%. And obviously a lot of it is due to the, the, the COVID closing their parks, but wait till you see the momentum that they have. Look at this. They announced 87 million subscribers to Disney Plus, which is a baby. It's a baby. They just developed that division a year ago. And look at this. By 2024, they're expected to have 325 million subscribers. Netflix has 201 million. So they're well on their way to being where they need to be. But if we look again at this spread, if we go back even further in time, 258%. There's a lot of meat on that bone. Netflix is up 310%, while Disney's only up 52% since 2016. There's a couple of other things. Let's look, let's look underneath the hood here. First, let's look at Disney. When I say look underneath the hood, I'm talking about let's look at their fundamentals. Let's look at their fundamentals and what's happening with the stock. Disney makes $69 billion. They have media networks. They own, they own ESPN. They, own, they, they have all kinds of entertainment properties. They have parks, but then they have this direct consumer and inter international, $17 billion. And so they're spread, they're obviously US centric, but $69 billion. Now keep that, keep that number in your head. And let's look at what the market cap is, right? So what's the market cap for Disney? 303 billion, okay? Now let's look at Netflix underneath the hood. 219 billion dollars, okay? What does Netflix make? Netflix makes all their money in streaming. There's one segment. There's one segment line and everybody's coming for their lunch. They're more diversified. They have, they have a big European presence. They have, they're growing in Latin America and Asia, but the 2021 estimates, 29 billion. Remember Disney was 69 billion, okay? And Netflix, a $219 billion company, right? The bigger risk for me in the near term, to looking at 2021, and this, this chart is starting to look saggy, is that these guys are part of FANG. What happened this week? Facebook got pinged by the FTC. Biden, we know, is going to come after. The new Biden regime is going to be anti-big tech. They're going to come for the FANG stock. So these guys had a nice rally by association. They're also going to be guilty by association. Stocks might are showing a little bit of risk heading into 2021. Disney still the mouse, still the family theme park, still America's favorite rodent. And so I say enthusiastically for years to come, buy Disney, burn Netflix. Jeff Zaninieri here. Have a great weekend. Take care of your mind. Take care of your heart. Take care of your family. Get some rest. It's the holidays. LFG.